Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. After entering a work resource, you can adjust its working schedule so Microsoft Project can then adjust the scheduling and use of the work resource as needed. When creating a work resource in the resource sheet view, you can set the resource's default working calendar from the base calendar cells drop-down menu. This lesson examines making individual changes to the availability schedule of a work resource. To make individual changes to the availability of a work resource, first select the row within the Resource Sheet view that contains the work resource whose availability schedule you want to edit. Next, open the Resource Information dialog box by clicking the Resource Information button in the Properties button group on the Resource tab in the ribbon. In the Resource Sheet dialog box, click the Change Working Time button on the General tab to open the Change Working Time dialog box. You use this dialog box to make individual adjustments to the base work schedule calendar that is selected. You can enter time off, vacation days, and other time that the resource is not available to work during normally scheduled work hours by entering these items into the Exceptions tab. If the resource has a set part-time availability, you can enter the schedule of their work week into the Work Weeks tab. To create an exception to the work schedule, click the Exceptions tab. Then enter the various days off for the chosen work resource. To do this, click the first day off within the calendar. Next, click into the first blank row within the Exceptions tab and type the name of the label you want into the Name column. When you leave the cell, the date selected in the calendar above is entered as the default values for both the start and finish dates of the time off. If this is incorrect, click into either or both the Start and Finish columns to set the correct start and end times of the time off from the project. Then repeat this process as needed to enter any other time off for the selected work resource. To enter a custom work week for the selected resource, click the Work Weeks tab in the Change Working Time dialog box. Note that the value of Default is shown in the first row of this tab. This means that the default working time from the selected base calendar is used for task scheduling of this work resource. To change the default work schedule of this resource for all weeks in the project, select the default row on this tab first. To only set a work schedule for a specified time, click into the next blank row instead. Then enter a name for the range of time into the name column. Then use the Start and Finish Columns drop-downs to set the start and end dates for the work schedule you are about to specify. In this scenario, the work schedule you are about to create will only be used during the dates selected. During dates not within this time, the default schedule is used. Next, for whichever schedule you are editing, Click the Details button to open the Details 4 dialog box. Select the desired day or days of the week to edit by selecting them from the Select Days list at the left side of this dialog box. To the right of that, then either select to Set Days to Non-Working Time or select Set Days to these specific working times from the option button shown. Choosing the Use Times from Default Work Week for These Days option does nothing to the scheduled days. If you selected the Set Days to These Specific Working Times option, then set the available working hours for those days in the From and To columns below that area. After creating your custom work schedule, click the OK button in the Details 4 dialog box until you return to the Resource Information dialog box. Click the OK button in the Resource Information dialog box to save the changes to the selected work resources schedule. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.